everybody, and welcome back to another Game News Roundup. We have an update on Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition. That's right, it's been quiet for a few weeks now, a couple weeks now or so. Um, yes, if you've been watching me for a while, where's my overlays? Why does it look different? Why is the website bigger and other things missing? Uh, yeah, my, um, I got a new graphics card, which was great. However, it melted my SSD. Uh, so I had to buy a new SSD, reinstall Windows, and I lost all, I lost, I had a backup of my OBS settings from 18 months ago, which means all this was lost. A lot of stuff was lost. I had to redo everything, but you know what? Here we are. Is it finally over? No! It looks like it won't be over till October now. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Yay! It looks like it's October. Also, yeah, I'm look, I am live streaming this. I can see chat. I know if you watch this on YouTube, you can't see it. I need to remake stuff, but we'll I'll get there eventually. But, so yeah, Microsoft has offered a new remedy to hopefully get the deal approved in the UK. By the UK regulator, the Competition and Markets Authority, uh, which is the only place that has blocked the deal. It has been approved everywhere. I guess telling it wasn't officially approved in the US, it just it wasn't blocked in the US. The FTC was trying to block the deal, and that failed. That's it. I mean, technically, it hasn't been approved or blocked in the Australia, but at this point, they're just waiting on the UK's decision. Whatever the UK decides, what Australia is going to do. Um, so yeah, Microsoft has now proposed a new restructure in order to get the deal approved. Their restructure. They are selling the cloud gaming rights for current and new Activision Blizzard games to... I guess you can see the title. Ubisoft, the makers of Assassin's Creed and Far Cry and the crew. And I don't... I mean, they do have, they do have a cloud streaming service, mind you. So yeah. Uh, yeah, new and current Activision Blizzard games will be on uh, Ubisoft services instead of Xbox Cloud Gaming for 15 years. The deal is for 15 years. So, uh, Microsoft President Brad Smith in a long-winded post. Today, we are taking another important step regarding this transaction to address the concern about the impact of the proposed acquisition on cloud game streaming Raised by the UK Competition and Markets Authority, we are restructuring the transaction to acquire a narrower set of rights. So yeah, this only affects cloud gaming. If you don't care about cloud gaming, eh, doesn't matter. It is what it is. So don't worry about it if you don't do cloud gaming. It's good. Um, I would still expect Activision Blizzard games eventually to come to Game Pass. It's just they won't be on Xbox Cloud Gaming as well. That's probably about it. Um, so yeah, this includes executing an agreement effective at the closing of our merger that transfers the cloud streaming rights for all current and new Activision Blizzard PC and console games released over the next 15 years. So if it closes in 2023, that's until 2038. To Ubisoft Entertainment, a leading global game publisher, the rights will be in perpetuity. As a result of the agreement with Ubisoft, Microsoft believes it's proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard presents a substantially different transaction under UK law than the transaction Microsoft submitted for the CMA's consideration in 2022. Also, they also have a, now have a deal with Sony to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation consoles for the next 10 years. Um, as such, Microsoft today has notified the restructuring transaction to the CMA and anticipates the CMA review processes can be completed before the 90-day extension in its acquisition agreement with Activision Blizzard expires on October 18th, so maybe sometime before October 18th, we might finally know what on earth is going on. I don't know. So yeah, under the restructured transaction, Microsoft will not be in a position either to release Activision Blizzard games exclusively on its own cloud streaming service, Xbox Cloud Gaming, or to exclusively control the licensing terms of Activision Blizzard games for rival services. The agreement provides Ubisoft with a unique opportunity to, opportunity to commercialize oh boy, the distribution of games via cloud streaming. Also, if you don't know, if you haven't checked, uh, the uh, Ubisoft stock went up by like 8% this morning, 10%, somewhere around there, this morning after the deal was announced. Um, it, oh, Activision, uh, Activision. Ubisoft stock was only like 6 bucks, like 7 bucks now or something. It's so low, I'm like... I thought it was higher than that, but man, I knew they weren't doing great, but meesh. Anyways, yeah, the, agree the agreement will enable Ubisoft to innovate 
and encourage different business models in the licensing and pricing of these games on cloud streaming services worldwide. Ubisoft will compensate Microsoft, so they will still be paying Microsoft for the cloud streaming rights to Activision Blizzard's games through a one-off payment. What is this payment? I have no idea what it's going to be. We will see. A billion dollars? I don't know. I really have no idea. It's probably less than that. Some odd hundreds of millions, most likely. Uh, but we'll see. Or we'll probably never know, actually, thinking about it. And through a market-based wholesale pricing uh, mechanism, including an option that supports pricing based on usage, it will also give Ubisoft the opportunity to offer Activision Blizzard's games to cloud gaming services running non-Windows operating systems. Um, of importance, Microsoft's obligations to provide cloud streaming rights in the European economic area remain in place in full compliance with Microsoft's uh, commitments to the European Commission. The agreement with Ubisoft has been structured so that Microsoft will still acquire the rights needed to honor to, uh, to honor to fulfill its legal obligations under its commitments to the European Commission, as well as its existing contractual obligations to other cloud gaming providers, including NVIDIA, Booster Aid, Ubitus, 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 yeah, and Nware. Uh, Microsoft is engaging closely with the European Commission to support the EEC's assessment and agreement and confirmation that the commitments remain undisturbed. Uh, and Ubisoft, in a tweet and in her own statement, announced um, this. Again, they announced again they have signed an agreement uh, which gives Ubisoft cloud streaming rights to, to games like Call of Duty and more uh, coming into effect upon the completion of Microsoft's active acquisition of Activision Blizzard. The agreement includes the complete slate of current Activision Blizzard games as well as their new titles launching in the 15 years after the closing of Microsoft's acquisition. Oh my goodness. Whew. Activision Blizzard. The games will land on Ubisoft Plus, which which also... um, Jeez. Wow. I'm talking too fast, apparently. Will also allow Ubisoft to license them to cloud gaming company service and providers. <sighs> So yeah, Ubisoft will be adding Activision Blizzard games to its Ubisoft Plus multi-access subscription, which currently, which is currently available on Xbox consoles, PlayStation consoles via Ubisoft Plus Classics PC and Amazon Luna. Uh, and the CMA also has published a new final order on the original deal Microsoft had in place, which prohibits them from closing the deal while investigating the deal again with a new researcher. So yeah, Microsoft can't close the deal. CMA is doing a new phase one investigation, but it's going to be fast. It's going to be extremely much faster considering they've got they've got all the stuff already. It's just assessing this new deal in place, this restructure in place with Ubisoft for 15 years. So yeah, the CMA says Ubisoft will be able to license out Activision's content under different business models, including subscription services. The deal also proposes that Ubisoft have the ability to require. Uh, Microsoft to provide versions of games on operating systems other than Windows. And again, the deal has been approved in New Zealand, Turkey, South Africa, South Korea, China, the entire European Union, Ukraine, Japan, Chile, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and Serbia. And also Microsoft won its case against the FTC in the U.S., which was trying to block the deal. Uh, we have, Again, we haven't heard from Australia, but um, we should be hearing from them soon enough. Uh, I think they said they're waiting on a decision what's going on in the U.K. If the U.K. ends up approving it, I'm sure they'll approve it. That's it. Deal will be closed. Hopefully, October 18th is the deadline. We will see. The saga continues, but I think we're in the home stretch at this point, and I probably won't be having like man multiple updates a week on this. Um, but yeah, if you're not already following, or sorry, following, just like because I'm streaming this live on Twitch. Um, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Also, yeah, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trunkswd. Uh, links below in the description. I generally stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Um, usually 6 30 to 7 p.m. Eastern. And yes, what do you guys think? Is this it? Is this going to get the deal over the line and approved in the UK so Microsoft can close the deal? Activision Blizzard will be part of their, well, Xbox, I guess, you know. Um, finally. Finally. It's almost done. I've been reporting on this since it was announced in January of 2022, which means we need like two years when it finally closes. I mean, maybe we'll have a actual closure soon. We'll see. But anyways, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed this video, again, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time for some more gaming news, gaming sales, and gaming industry information.